Happy Thanksgiving, my fellow cold-hearted cynics. Today we're talking about 1987's planes, trains, and automobiles. Very late because I was busy all day and I'm really sorry that this was coming out so late, but whatever. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is all about a one businessman, Neil Page, who was just trying to get home for Christmas and he keeps getting trapped in the closet with a one Dale Griffith. Our two main characters are played by Steve Martin and John Candy, two men who have a incredible chemistry together. And it's basically just home alone backwards. They're just trying to get home to their families. And eventually we learn some tragic realities about Dell's sad, sad life. And that Steve Martin's character is just also very sad. It's a very emotional film. This movie came out at John Hughes's adult transitional period before his children related flicks and it's just very moving and emotional and it's sad you feel so bad for both of these men it's there's just beneath all of the gags and gimmicks and the exploding cars and the robbery and Kevin Bacon's beautiful cameo as an homage to she's having a baby you have a really deep heartfelt story about these two men that are just trying to make it through life and that really found each other at an appropriate time when they needed each other most around the holidays, the most stressful, sad holiday of the year, Thanksgiving. If you're an adult, I guess. Part of me wishes that John Hughes had continued down his path of like adult-related comedies, of course, then he never would have really gained the same sort of fame he did with Home Alone, so I guess everything worked out well, but he was very much in tune to adults in the same way he was in tune to teenagers, because as I said when I was discussing she's having a baby, he just was writing these stories for people that grew up watching his stuff in the first place, for all these teenagers that were adults now, and that were facing the harsh realities of the cold, cruel world of Chicago, and Steve and John have an incredible chemistry together, and it's vital because they are the entire film. Like, I can't think of two men who would have had a better chemistry as just, like, this weird, outcast, traveling salesman, and this sad, regular man. They just both were at the height of their careers, as far as I'm concerned, and really shined really shined in this film. And it's beautiful. It's an appropriate time to be watching it. If you've never seen it before, get on that bandwagon. They had put a fart machine into my sleeping bag.